Hey guys, what's up? Got another late night video for you. Today, I'm going to find out which doctor I am. Um, this is a quiz, I think, from the official Doctor Who website. And it is, which of these doctors are you? Are you the chipper? Are you the moody? Are you the carefree? Or are you the calm and collected? Let's get started. Question number one. Do you generally like to do you generally like to make an entrance with a big smile and a friendly wink, chatting away as friendly as possible? Quietly, I try not to draw attention to myself as loudly as possible or by pointing out how rubbish everyone else is in the room. <laughs> this is a great question. How generally do I like to make an entrance? Well, my doctor, whoever I am, is going to be as loudly as possible. I think that's a good one. How do you deal with the with your mistakes. You quickly move on, they haunt you and define you. You constantly question your actions, you embrace them, you take time to sit down and think about them. I think the smartest option would to be to take time to sit down and think about them because the doctor always gets himself into some crazy shenanigans and sometimes it's good to think those things through. Okay, number th question number three. How do you react when you're angry? Internalize it. You rarely let anger out. Uh, belittle it as most things make you cross. Speak slowly and clearly. Explain why you're angry. Shout loudly. Make sure everyone can hear you are annoyed or barely let it out. Your actions let other people know they've annoyed you. Let's just shout loudly and make sure everybody <laughs> knows that I'm annoyed. Number four. How do you describe your dress since like I've raided a charity shop as though I am a university professor casual smart you'll barely see me out of a suit or rock and roll let's go with rock and roll how would you describe yourself fantastic mad the only sane one in the room Brilliant. Don't know yet. I'll let you know. Fantastic. Number five. What's your favorite food? Fish fingers and custard. Chips. Jelly babies. What? The fuck are jelly babies? I don't remember that from the show. A custard cream or a banana? None of these sound good, and I don't know what the fuck jelly babies are. So I'm gonna go with the well, a banana. I'll go with a banana. Which historical figure would you most like to meet? Agatha Christie, Rosa Parks, Charles Dickens, Robin Hood, or fucking Richard Nixon? Okay, I know the Doctor has met every single one of these people, but. I'll meet Rosa Parks. I'll meet Rosa Parks. Number six. I think this is number six. Maybe seven. I don't know. Uh, if you had to work in one of these, what would it be? A university, a school, a reality TV show, a distribution warehouse, a toy shop. Let's work at a school. Where would you most like to go on a holiday? 18th century, I can't pronounce that word, Victoria, London, Britain, and World War II, 
second century Scotland or Schofield last week. What is what is that one? Uh, Britain and World War II. I don't really want to go there, but why not? With a doctor. How would you describe your room? Cave-like. Mad, ca uh, mad cape. Everyone strewn all over the place. Clean and ordered. Grungy with something growing in the corner. That's not grungy. I, that is that is grungy. We'll do clean and ordered. All right, here we go. What doctor did we get? Ah, cool. We got Peter Capaldi, twelfth doctor. I'm Scottish. I can really explain. I can really complain about things now. Annoyingly, for the twelfth doctor, the universe is full of other people, none of whom are an. None of whom are another him, with a simpler wardrobe than his immediate predecessor. His understanding of human emotions regressed after his regeneration. Irritated by the inaccuracies of human behavior, he eventually resorted, re resorted to using a uh, resorted to using his cards with the appro appropriate responses he he should give he reverted to his previous incarnations fondness for jelly babies and embraced a more rock and roll approach complete with an electric guitar having a break in his travels to become a university professor and the guardian of the vault where missy was kept the 12th doctor did Initially mellow on his travels, he encountered a lost Roman legion in the second century Scotland, went inside a Dalek, and, and even fought alongside Robin Hood. How the hell can we forget about that god-awful Robin Hood episode? So yeah, I'm the 12th Doctor. I like it, because I'm currently watching uh, the 12th Doctor right now, where where I'm at on Doctor Who, and I'm loving it. So yeah, I like that answer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be a little, I thought it would be fun to do this one. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.